Today, leg four got underway from the Chinese city of Sanya to Auckland in front of an enthusiastic Chinese crowd. As the crews headed out, they waved goodbye to family and friends, as well as a growing number of Chinese fans. Unlike previous leg starts, the fleet will follow a 43 nautical mile course before heading back into Port in Sanya, where they will wait for the boat breaking conditions offshore to ease. They will then restart, staggered by their finishing times. In perfect sailing conditions, the race got underway, with Puma taking an early lead. Groupama had a disastrous start, hitting the starting mark, forcing them to do a 360 degree turn. As the fleet headed up to the first mark, Puma had the lead, followed by Camper, Telefonica, Abu Dhabi, Sanya, and then Groupama. After two reaching legs, positions were unchanged at Mark 2, with Puma stretching out their lead as the fleet headed upwind. Telefonica were first attack on the upwind leg, followed by Sanya and Abu Dhabi, while Puma, Camper and Groupama chose to stay on the right-hand side of the course, causing a split in the fleet. As the fleet came together at the third mark, the right-hand group seemed to have come off best with Puma and Camper now nearly a minute ahead of Abu Dhabi, Telefonica, Groupama and Sanya. However, Abu Dhabi fouled as they rounded the mark, impeding Telefonica, forcing them to make a 720 degree penalty turn and pushing them into last place. By mark five after two more reaching legs, positions were unchanged, with Puma ahead of Camper, Telefonica, Groupama, Sanya and Abu Dhabi in last place. As the fleet headed upwind once more, they split again, with Groupama heading on their own out to the left, while the rest of the fleet took the right-hand track. And at Mark 6, Puma's dominance continued, with a lead of over one minute from Camper in second, closely followed by Telefonica, a minute ahead of Groupama, Sanya and Abu Dhabi still in last place. Chinese Olympic gold medal winning gymnast Yang Wei, a guest on board Camper, made a spectacular dismount before the fleet headed out on the run to the Guan Ying statue. And within minutes, Camp had a problem. One of their sails became stuck during furling, relegating them to last place. As they rounded the Guan Yin Buddhist statue, Puma still had the lead, now three minutes ahead of Groupama, moving from last at the start to now second, one minute 30 ahead of Telefonica in third, followed by Kampa, Abu Dhabi, and now Sanya in last place. However, it was all change on the run back into port. Puma made a bold decision to head out offshore, searching for wind, while the rest of the fleet continued on an inshore route. Unfortunately for Puma, the wind offshore never materialized, and they found themselves moving from first to last place. So as the fleet crossed the line, Telefonica were in first place, two minutes and 30 seconds ahead of Groupama in second. Closely followed by Abu Dhabi some 4 minutes ahead of Sanya in 4th, with Camper a further 1 minute 40 behind in 5th, and Puma struggling after heading offshore 30 minutes behind 5th place in last. Uh, I think the, at the end of the race um, we did a lot of sailing, but uh, where everything changed was on the transition. Then when, when coming back Puma was first and uh, I think they have a lot of bad luck. I'm very sorry for them because they did a fantastic race and then they stay there for forever. No, we, uh, we just crossed uh, pretty easy from one win to the other and, uh, and then we were uh, in front, so then was just an up win. I think that, that was the, the point on the race. With the race start expected at 7am local time tomorrow morning, stay tuned to VolvoOceanRace.com for updates.